Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In the last lesson, we talked about um, a flat file database and what are some of the problems that could occur in a flat file database. For example, um, redundancy, information being stored uh, too many times, the same information, uh, inefficient, right? Because if you have to update, um, something you have to do it multiple times you can't just do it once and yeah a whole heap of other problems related to those things so if you're not sure what I'm talking about then please have a look at my last tutorial so in this tutorial we're introducing you to another type of computerized database called a relational database now a relational database there are a whole heap of things that we need to talk about and we will in the future but the uh, main two things I want to talk about here is number one it is made up of multiple tables so that is a very big difference to a flat file database where you only have one table here we have multiple tables and the second thing is that there is a relationship between the tables so what I mean by that is that different tables could have the same columns or fields which is another word for columns in a relational database. So to illustrate that I will use the example that we provided last lesson where we had a flat file database with student's name student's address and parent's name and parent's address all stored in the same table I'm now going to split up this one table into three tables and show you why it's going to become more efficient so hopefully this example shows you the relationship between tables so originally I had one table combining the information of students and their parents and everything else and now with a relational database what I did was I split up the table that I had into two tables so what's happening is in the first table I have a list of the students in the second table I have a list of the parents and I link them together by giving the parents table a parent ID and so in the students table instead of recording all the information again about the parents in both rows I just write down what the parent ID is for each row and then the database knows that when I'm looking for who's um, who is Simon uh, Camilla Simons his parent um, it can just go to parent ID number one which is uh, Daniel okay let me make it more obvious to you so I'll make a few more fake students so for example if I have another student called Emma White and instead of recording everything about her parents in the same table I have a parent ID column which tells you it's the number two parent in the parent table and then in the parents table I have number two Sam White so um, you can query the database in a way that tells you that Emma's parents is Sam. So what are the advantages of splitting the tables up into multiple tables? Well, for example, let's say Simon has now changed his address to um, somewhere else. When I'm updating a database, I need I only need to update it once. Right? I need to. I only need to update it in the parents table and I only need to put in 6 Queen Street uh, to Wong or something and then now it knows straight away that Camilla and John both live in 6 Queen Street whereas previously we had to update it twice and now we only need to update it once and then that solves the two problems we're talking about where we're storing redundant information so before we're storing the same data multiple times and it's also inefficient with a flat file database because we have to update it multiple times 
and then if you accidentally only update one of them then you don't know which one is right anymore and then for example let's say um, Camilla no longer goes to the school now I can delete Camilla and we still have information about John and his parents right? and even if I delete John I still have information about Daniel. All right. So very useful to have the data split up into multiple tables. Okay. Now in the next few videos what we're going to talk about is if we have a very big flat file database. So right now we have teachers as well. I haven't talked about how to fit teachers into here yet. And then if we had a lot more information, for example, the whole school where the uh, students are studying their timetables, different subjects, all that uh, classrooms, all that stuff. How do we design a database that works? How do we design a relational database? That's going to be the topic in the next few videos. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.